Kyle, what's the, I guess, excitement level for a new season? You guys, uh, most guys are here now a week or so before camp and obviously getting some reps in with your teammates. Uh, a lot of excitement for a, a clean slate and a fresh start. Yeah, I mean, everybody is for sure. Um, you know, everybody's starting to come in, uh, enjoy their summers and see everybody work, put the hard work in. And, um, you know, it's good to compete and push each other here in these, in these skates before, before the camp starts. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, a, it's nice to see some of the new faces as well, um, you know, catch up on everybody's summer, kind of get that going out of the way before camp starts and then obviously focus on a goal. You obviously had a lot of things on the go. So are you a guy, once once the season ended, uh, did you watch a lot of playoffs or did you pretty much tune it out at that point? Uh, uh, I, I watched some games if it uh, fell in line with the schedule or what I was doing and tune in. Um, you know, obviously we're a fan of the game. and um, So, you know, guys, I was... I was watching uh, friends and stuff that were in the playoffs. You keep tabs on them for sure. Are there lessons that you can take away from a team like the Panthers? You guys, you were tied with them in points in the regular season. Florida's a team, they've had really good regular seasons, but maybe could never quite get over that hump, and now they finally did. Are there things you can take from watching how they did it that could maybe help you guys going forward? Uh, I mean, you can't win a Stanley Cup beginning of the year or towards the end of the year. You can work and get better, but, I mean, the playoffs are a completely different style. Um, I think, you know, over the couple of years, you got to peak at the right time. Um, you know, you look at Colorado, we beat them every game in the regular season, but we couldn't find a way to beat them in the playoffs. So it's, it doesn't really matter what you do. It's a whole different animal, and um, you can work on things, but you got to peak at the right time. Uh, a lot of the players talked that this was going to be a summer of reflection for you guys on how to kind of take those next steps. For you, where did that reflection take you and what did you kind of discover going through it? Um, yeah, just just work on all my game, uh, getting better. Uh, all the stuff as a team, X's and O's, uh, systems-wise. You know, obviously we got a new head coach this year. Arnie's taking over, so he'll implement all that stuff. But for me, it's just getting better at what I can control, um, you know, getting faster, stronger. You know, working on different ways to shoot the puck, working on, you know, all the stuff that uh, I've continued to work on over the years and take it to another level. Were there any big changes in how you are approaching getting stronger, faster, any big discoveries? I mean, there's always tweaks, little tools you can use, develop, um, you know, that strength coaches come up with or on the ice. But, you know, I mean, nothing reinventing the wheel. Um, yeah. Mostly be back at Michigan, like, is that where you do, where you do training? Yeah. yeah. Former teammates and former Michigan guys, Michigan guys like that group. Yeah, a lot of a lot of former Michigan guys. Um, we got a good group, of Michigan. Everybody um, seems seems to come back and want to live there and hang out together and push each other. So it was great. Well, last year you started like a house on fire offensively in particular. Are you taking lessons from that into this season or this sort of like soul searching as well? Like where is the mindset at to reproduce that quality? Um, I mean that's a completely different year. I'm focused on this year. Uh, it's. You know, I'm not going to look back on what I did or could have done later. So it's, you know, my mind's always going forward and how I can improve.